Yeah, I mean, look, so in our last fund, 15% of our, our businesses were female-led. In our current fund, it looks like we're trending to about 20%. You know, I think that's the message. I have a daughter who's just graduated from university. My daughter has a no boundaries view of the world. I mean, you know, and I, and I think a great example is she went to her academic guidance counselor and said a year ago, I think I want to become a consultant, a management consultant. And the guidance counselor said to her, you know what, if you haven't been thinking you wanted to be a management consultant since you were a little kid and done all the studying, you can never be a management consultant. And my daughter said, yeah, he, that's not happening, dude. She went on the internet, she found a job, she, she got an interview with two of the biggest firms. She got hired for the summer. She's been hired back full time. And that's an attitude thing, right? She believes she can achieve anything. And I think, you know, my wife and I have always led her to believe she can do anything. She has a twin brother. They absolutely have both succeeded in an unequivocal way. And I think my daughter has no views on limits. And I think that's part of the sociological change that's happening today in our society. We, we certainly have some characteristics today in venture and in other businesses where there are still lots of males in the senior leadership positions. And there are certainly lots of white males in the senior leadership positions. But I think among the generations of kids who are coming up now, most of them are fearless. And most of them don't see those boundaries the same way. And I think firms like ours absolutely recognize it. And we hire across that entire gamut.